So today I attended a reformer Pilates class and I went for my own fitness and also I've done stuff before, but I also went with the mind of, I am a postpartum mother. Yes, my son is three, but you're always a postpartum mum in my, uh, my belief. And I have, for those who don't know, I have, um, I had pretty traumatic birth, so I had 3C tearing and I also have a levata avulsion, which means a muscle is coming off the right side of my pubic bone. So that is something that can never be fixed, but we can work on strengthening the other muscles that we have in the pelvic floor, which is what I have been doing. But I have to be aware of certain things I can and can't do. Now, I only know this from my own research and from my own qualifications as a personal trainer. And going into a just generalized class, I was very aware of what I should listen to and what I shouldn't listen to when it comes to doing these certain exercises, specifically core work. And for me, I can, I, I'm not comfortable. I feel very vulnerable doing wide leg stance squats, for example, because there's a lot of pressure in the pelvic floor. And the class was fine. Uh, there was no, you go straight into it. There's no focus on anything to do with ab separation. There's no focus on uh, if you're doming when you're in a plank position. And, and these positions are pretty intense. Like you're on all fours and you're pushing your legs back away, which is perfect for doming. If you are not aware of how to activate your pelvic floor and your TA. And it just, I, I could do it and I, I tied in my breathing, which is super important for your inner core unit, and it worked well for me. But for someone new who's wanting to get back into exercise and isn't aware of um, pelvic floor and ab separation, for example, and maybe um, have not been checked by a women's health physio to see if there is a risk of prolapse, maybe. You may not be getting any symptoms, but maybe there is something that if you add strenuous exercise to or you do the wrong exercises, then you can uh, cause a prolapse without even realising. And whether you have um, a weak pelvic floor or, or a hypertonic pelvic floor, they are the same symptoms as well um, a lot of the time. So... I believe that you can do these certain group exercises again. However, you need to build on your foundations and strengthen those foundations so that you're aware when you go into a group fitness session, what you can and can't do. Um, I actually felt confident to say to her, um, I can't do a wide leg squat. And um, But I could see in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, people are looking at me. Is it weird that I've said I can't do a wide leg squat as if I'm a little bit weird? Um, but I was confident in myself to, and I knew my body well enough to say that. She accommodated for it a little bit. She was fine. Um, but I still felt a little bit like, oh, I'm just doing a bit of a naff exercise now as a finish because you can't really think of what else to give me. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you. And I wanted mums to know that you can go to these exercises and these reformer classes if you enjoy them and if you feel like your friends are going and you just want to be part of the crowd and it's it's all upbeat and bubbly and loud lively music and stuff it's a nice feeling um to feel like you can move your body again and strong but i would just recommend going and get a women's health um physio check um after you've had babies um if you've had three babies and you had a pelvic floor check um, for the first one, get it done because you haven't done it for the third one, for example. I've had some people like that. And I would just suggest learning about your body, strengthen your weaknesses, build on your foundation so that you can attend classes like that, just like me and have the confidence to say to them, I can't do this, I can do that. And you'll know how to properly use um, a core technique and how to work your breathing correctly no matter what class you attend um, 